Hi, I am Dr. Shanmugh Sundaram, a senior consultant orthopedic surgeon, Apollo Spectro Hospital, Chennai. Regarding the meniscal injury, the meniscus is a structure which is in between the thigh bone and leg bone which is acting as a cushion. The whole body weight get transmitted through the knee joint without pain only through this structure. So this structure should be strong and hopefully it should not get tear at any point of time except the attrition tear what we see in age group around 60 to 80 years. That is a normal word particular type of tear which is common for every human being. What we talk about the meniscal tear? The meniscal tear is the one that mostly comes with an acute sports injury or injury to the knee in a direct way. What kind of injury can occur into the knee meniscus? We have two types of meniscus. There is a medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus. And type of injury can be on three zones. What do you mean by three zones? These three zones determine the outcome of the meniscal injury. The outer zone is the vascularized zone and the innermost zone is the avascular zone and the middle segment is like a combination of 50-50. So any injury pertaining to the peripheral tear or the periarticular tear, they heal most of the times with conservative management because it's having a rich blood circulation. Second, the innermost tear which is involving the avascular zone, generally they don't heal by themselves, they require most of the time surgery. The intermittent zone, what we have is a second zone. The chances for healing is around 50 to 70 percent. Then, to understand further what happens in the meniscal injury, if it's a small tear which is only involving less than 2 to 5 millimeters, then that particular type of tear, if it's in the periphery 100 percent, they heal by themselves. When it's a flap tear or when it's a multiple tear, or in the hanging tear which is coming to the articular surface then these kind of injuries might require uh, arthroscopic keyhole surgeries. What is a common symptom to recognize whether you have a meniscal tear or not? First of all after the injury to the knee joint you will have a severe pain whenever you climb stairs and coming from the stairs. Whenever you squat and sit in the floor and getting up that will be painful. This is the first sign of a meniscal injury. Second is whenever you are walking you feel sometimes like locking. You cannot move your leg after that particular point. So those kind of situation when it occurs definitely you require an MRI to diagnose and treat. Generally most of the tasks can be treated conservatively but some of them will become only better with either meniscal repair or by the meniscectomy. Thank you.